here we are at noise11.com and we welcome Andy McLean uh, and Dave Leslie. Uh, you know, at one point we'd do you individually as horsehead and baby animals. Uh, today, collectively, it is truck we are here to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the mighty truck, and I, you know, congratulations, guys. I've been listening to the album, exploring the war. Uh, we've got nine songs clocking in at thirty-nine minutes. It's just a rock and roll record at the start, from start to finish, and then we're done. This must make for a great live set. Well, we've got a whole bunch of new songs, so it, we, it's it's very hard to know what not to play. Because they're all kind of good. What, what do you leave off, depending on what sort of crowd you're playing to? You know, like we did a gig on Friday night and we, we left off some of the real heavy stuff. And I thought, oh, that's right. We've got all these other songs. You know, but, um, <laughs> it's a nice, it is a nice problem to have. What, what, yeah. what don't you play, you know? <laughs> yeah. But it is refreshing to hear a rock and roll album again, isn't it? Because I think the thing that's missing in pop, you know, when you look at all the pop hits that are out there at the moment there's no instrumental break in a pop song anymore it's vocals from <laughs> beginning to end there's no uh, key changes in a pop song anymore you know it's just all the one thing from beginning to end it's all like one big three minute 30 second commercial um you know it must, be, uh, it must be fun to get out there and play some rock and roll i turned on the arias the other night and uh there was a distinct lack of guitars uh, uh yeah so so yes you know we're a bit old school. We like our 70s sort of warm music. Well, you know, there's a lot of guitar on this record. So, uh, you know, that sort of, um, uh, you know, comes to mind with, uh, you know, part stones, part faces. There could be a bit of black crows uh, thrown in there. Absolutely. And, and when you when you get to work with uh, one of the greatest guitarists in Australia, why wouldn't you have a guitar all over your album? <laughs> um, yeah, but he so was busy, so they got me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, I, I I just went and saw the um Dave, you heard this story. I just went and saw the Black Crows the other night. Oh, I you see the Black Crows. I love them. them. That was fantastic. So yeah, we we talk a lot about the stones and the black crows and all that sort of stuff. Let's uh, get into that uh, track one, make hay. And uh, you know, just right from that very start, as I said, this album starts to rock. Kind of like a Steve Winwoody kind of feel to it, you know, very kind of what, that band Traffic, back from the 60s, got, you know, which is great because, I mean, it's great to find because we've got a, a keyboard player in the band. So all that all that flavour and all that, uh, that organic kind of influence is, is a big part of the sound as well. You just said uh, Traffic there. I was thinking uh, Steppenwolf too in that one, obviously. the Oh, yeah, right. The, 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 the flavour. But, yeah, look, and a very, I, I, I think um, we've realised this is quite a, positive record as well uh, in lyrically and uh and you know a bit of an old school message isn't it the old uh make hay while the sun shines but um it's 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 still a good message well let's uh cross to dave leslie for a guitar report on get back uh it, it's great because it's got that stonesy kind of influence and in it. It, it's still it's still unmistakably Aus, australian rock though for, you know for mine i just um it's just good to have it's a bit of a mixed mixed bag of influences and uh, yeah we really enjoy playing that song it's great i mean enjoy playing all of them really but yeah that's yeah capo 2 keith richard style those, those voicings um yeah unmistakably stones influence for sure andy over to you for lucky and what really hit me with that song was the the number of layers you have just in that intro before you even get to your vocal but again a, a, a really good you know it's a great guitar riff and uh, uh I used to say, you know, when we were thinking about that song, I, it reminds me, that's, I think of, you know, Stevie Wright on the Sydney Opera House steps, you know, it's got that sort of rock and roll concert vibe to it in the intro and, and yeah, so I, I think we captured that one really well. Uh, Dave, what about the song uh, Boys Don't Cry? Now, you know, when I was looking down the song list before I listened to the album for the first time, I thought, oh, are they going to attempt... A cure cover, <laughs> a cure song, <laughs> but it, it wasn't to be. Well, it's uh, we. Oh, what can I say? Um, yeah, boys don't cry. It's, it, it's an interesting, it's an interesting um, track. I think uh, as far as an approach of you know being a family man and and you know the lyrics are really poignant. Um, 
especially for guys in our band. You know, we're kind of similar ages and everything like that. And um, yeah, it's all, also a good fun to play. But it's like we, you know, we, Get Back isn't a Beatles one either. So you know, we'll, we'll just we'll blend <laughs> song titles. That's okay. <laughs> and, yeah, and, I was just and, say, and, boy, yeah. boys don't cry. I know a lot of people go, but but why are you singing that? I think the the, the point of that song is in the middle eight. I, I think that I mean the fact the vocal tells you plain as day that you know blokes do have emotions and we do have to let them out and that's what that song's dealing with the fact that uh, a lot of us have grown up you know being told to keep the emotions in and sometimes uh, you know you got to let it out anyway there you go there's a bit of depth for you <laughs> <laughs> so we're learning a bit about the exploring the wire album the uh, new truck yeah. album where uh, soon we'll be learning that easy is not a lionel richie song and winds of change is not <laughs> a scorpion song oh either. my god yeah <laughs> but, boy um, yeah, okay. Yeah, we, 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 we are not at that point yet. We're at uh, the point disappointed. Uh, that's that's because... three in a row you got. <laughs> well, four. We'll wow. get back. Uh, yeah, four. you're uh, well, yeah, we've got this. We're writing this new one for the second album. It's called um, Stairway to Heaven. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Sorry, uh, couldn't resist. Just, as soon as we get that Bohemian Rhapsody done, I'll feel the wrath. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. So, uh, Disappointed, another song that sounds like it would be a great live song. Is that what this album is, Andy? Like, do you play every song off this album live? As we said before, we've been sort of, because we're working on a lot of new stuff, it's like, which which one will hit the bench for a little while and what we're excited about this weekend we're actually going to play the album in its entirety and and we haven't done that for a while and uh there are a few songs we pulled out the other night and dave was saying that we hadn't played off the album for a little bit and and they were exciting again and i think that it's good to rotate rotate the tunes give them a give them a bit of a time on the bench because then when you play them again they're incredibly fresh and you sort of back into it um disappointed mm. is one that was uh in and out of the set a few times but um yeah i'm looking forward to that one this weekend too mm. there's uh, one on here in deep and uh like we talk about the influences that this band has and you know the various uh rock uh bands that have influenced the band from back in the 70s this one almost has a an r and like a <laughs> snacks or a you know like a a soul type base to it, which is nice because this this band can we can play a lot of different styles. So you know it's got good to just stretch out a little bit and explore some some different stuff. Well, let, let, let's talk about Kevin Shirley then, because that's uh, one hell of a producer that you had in for this <laughs> album. I see you know, isn't it, Dave? It's kind of who you know, who you used to room with, I guess. <laughs> Kevin um, engineered the first Baby Animals record. And we shared a room pretty much through that whole process. The Dave and Cave show. We never closed. <laughs> so, uh, I, you know, I hadn't spoken to him for a little while and I thought, he would, I thought he'd just laugh at me, you know. I've got this little band, you know, um, little band, this awesome band. And, you know, would you consider having a, you know, we've got this album and would you consider, you know, a mix on it? And I, I, I thought he would either just laugh or price himself way out of the market that we couldn't even we couldn't even go anywhere near it so i wasn't expecting i went in there with no expectations and it turned out really well it's cool we had actually reconvened yeah we, we caught up again and we chatted a lot and you know he's still the same old cave well there's only, only a few more to talk about unconventionally rising is the next track <laughs> how, often does, how often does this one get played live oh lots Lots. Every time, with, with, it, with its cream-like intro, <laughs> down, down, down. Um, um, yeah, no, we love it. We love it, and uh, let's Dave go bananas there. And uh, no, it's 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 a it's a crack alive that one. The, the middle part is almost it's a band solo. Oh, I thought you it know, was like a maraca everyone, solo. Everyone on ten, everyone going for it. I thought that was me and my maraca, Dave. My maraca solo as well. I mean, it's. it's <laughs> Everyone's going hammer and tongs at, at some point, you know. You're you're all supporting my maraca. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it needs it. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's get to the final track of the album, Winds of Change. Not the Scorpion song. Oh no! <laughs> well, there's 
is the challenge for the next record to not have a, a single title that you can name from another album? Or band? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Winds of Change, um, very 70s uh, in its uh, – what does that remind us of, Dave? That's the uh, help us on I, its I way. Get dra- I, get, I get dragon from it. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Some, some like uh, uh, Ozambezi era dragon reminds me a little bit of that. <laughs> well, that's not bad. Of change. That's oh, good. no, it's not bad at all. Yeah. Oh, they're all fun. We've got the show uh, where, where the entire album is uh, going to be performed. Now, Andy, I've been seeing Horsehead have been um, doing a few gigs around the place or have some coming up on the way. It's good to see that this band gets together not just for Jeff Jenkins' birthdays. <laughs> oh, he's an influential man, isn't he? Uh, that what that tipped us over the edge. That that was the first time we'd ever done anything uh, together, and we kind of looked at each other and went, "We could take this further." So, yeah, when you say we've done a few shows, we, we did one reunion show a couple of years back. We enjoyed it so much, we said, "Let's do another." And then COVID hit, and it's been what three years until we can till now this weekend we can get on stage and do it again. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. It's a it's a beast of a thing, that that band. And uh, proudly, you know, the original lineup, which is, as anybody can attest to in rock and roll, it's not an easy thing to do to try and, you know, get together with the original blokes and, and do it. But it's great fun. The fact that we're all alive and well after all these years is 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 good <laughs> it was nice driving past the corner hotel and seeing the horse head name up there on the board uh, yeah yeah dave, dave dave and i have chuckled about horse head and baby animals in the past and dave actually pulled out a uh, uh an impress cover probably you know probably one of jeff jenkins's favorite covers that had baby animals and horse head on the same cover and uh so that, that, that was pretty exciting so we've had a laugh about that well, let's talk about Baby Animals and, um, you know, you My other band. alluded to the fact that there is new music in 2023 when I saw you a few weeks ago. We're in discussions with people. We, um, you know, there's no real label there to, that is going to throw any kind of serious money at it. So we've got to figure out logistically how how we we get there. But but we're going to be doing some writing uh, you know, early and see how we go, you know. Suze wants to do a record, and so that's she'll you know sounds fine fine to me. We've got to do some writing, but anyway, we'll see how we go. Yeah, yes, he's he's a lot less committal, Andy, than he is when you're sort of standing <laughs> backstage. <laughs> <laughs> when the when the, ca- when the camera's rolling, we're very very quiet. <laughs> All hopefully, right. well, hopefully well, next year it'd be great. Ideal, yeah. ideally it'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Well, in the meantime, we've got that new truck album out. It's called um, "Exploring the War." Good stuff, guys. Uh, and thank you for joining us here at Noise Eleven. Thank yeah, you very much, Paul. Paul. 